Over the past few years, in Chattanooga, Tennessee, there's been an explosion of microbreweries. We like to call this a microboom. Microbrewery. Noun. A limited production brewery typically producing specialty beers and often selling its products only locally. We start our journey with somewhere that's practically brand spanking new. Open since December 31st, 2016 and partially crowdfunded with Kickstarter, our first stop, Odd Story Brewing Company. This is Jay Boyd. He's the head honcho. I'm kind of biased on, on my recipes because, I don't know, just about every brewer will brew beers the way that he likes to drink them. Um, so that's, that's kind of the way that I, I've done mine. Um, just looking at, like, uh, I mean, these are all styles that I enjoy drinking. That's kind of why they're they're up there. And as you can see, I have an eclectic taste because it's kind of all over the place. Hopefully, once what what will really set us apart is is our barrel aging program. Uh, like I said, we're still really new, so we've only got six going right now. But here in the next um, two to three weeks, we'll have at least four more filled. Odd story is great, but now we're moving on to the next stop. It's a little bigger, to say the least. It's actually the biggest and oldest brewery in Chattanooga. For our second stop, Chattanooga Brewing Company. This is Jeremy Raper. He gave us the inside scoop. Anyway, inside the racking arm, that don't just go straight in. It goes in and there's a pipe that curves up. And what that does is allows all the yeast to fall to the bottom. And then we can collect beer from here without getting any of the yeast. And we'll reharvest our yeast and reuse it depending. We have a cell count. So if it's dead, obviously we don't use it. But you can reuse your yeast. A, a proper fancy big brewery lab could use their yeast forever and never change it. But they wash it and they clean it and make sure it's healthy and all that. But we just, small breweries don't have that sort of equipment. It's all expensive. So we usually use our yeast four or five, six times, and then we dump it out, buy a new harvest, and then we'll just collect it off the bottle. Anyway, so this is our sanitizer for the can line. We'll flip those cans up on here upside down and this belt will run them through here. This will usually be full of sanitizer and it sprays up into the can, cleans it up. This is the seamer, that's what puts the tops on the cans. That arm drops down, it's got four wheels around it, pushes on top of the can, and then the four wheels spin around and double seam the lid so that it holds pressure. This is Shane's favorite beer. He just wanted everyone to know. Mm -hmm. 
Chat Brew is fantastic. Great beer, great people. Now we've got our site set on somewhere new. New being the keyword. Almost a year old, this brewery has been open since July of 2016. This place is the first brewery in Red Bank, Tennessee since Prohibition. It's named after the owner. Well, his nickname. Our final stop? Big Frog Brewing Company. Chattanooga like you, they know about it. And uh, people that live around Cleveland 
are very, very uh, aware of it. Anywhere you go around Chattanooga, you can always find great craft beer. You just gotta know where to look. <laughs>